it's been a mixed bag since our FA Cup fifth round win against Lincoln last episode. Uh, but today we are playing Tottenham in the FA Cup quarterfinals. It's also Insomnia Sunday recording day. I've been up since like 2.45. Yay! Uh, so I'm looking forward to my afternoon uh, crash nap this afternoon. But I'm not sleepy now. So let's roll the intro and get into some Football Manager. Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 21, our Bielsa Journeyman Save. This is Club 3, Leicester City, and it's episode 15 with this club. Appreciate you guys dropping by. Hit that like button if you like what I'm doing here, and that's my way of asking you to support the channel, because all I ask you to do is hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget, I do have... Six day a week football manager, Monday through Saturday. So hit that little notification bell so you don't miss any. Appreciate you again dropping by. Taking a look from last episode, we had a big 5 1 win against Middlesbrough and goals from Pascarello on the right wing, Cernan up top, Romaine in the number 10, and Eric Graves with a two minute brace late in the match to secure it. A 3 0 defeat to Bristol City. Eh. And then a 1-1 draw to Everton. Robert Cernan got us on the board uh, early, but it wasn't early enough because even in the fifth minute, when it was just an equalizer, uh, sold out crowd at King Power Stadium, and we could not find the win and drop two points there. Taking a look at the competition, we are currently in ninth, 45 points. I think we've secured... Uh, we're not going to be relegated this year. You know, 40 is kind of that magic cutoff number. So I think we've had a good season. We're only supposed to fight bravely against relegation. So I have no doubt the board should be much happier than that. Uh, we're also supposed to reach the fifth round at a minimum. So we are all the way into the quarterfinals. So they should be very happy there. And we were knocked out in the quarterfinals. They only expected us to reach the fourth round in the Carabao Cup. So again, everybody should be very happy. Taking a look at the squad, we have uh, 33 goals for Eric Graves in 34 starts. 22 from 31 for Robert Cernan. He has turned out to be a great signing this year. And you know, just this is one of those weird things with, you know, He's only two and a half stars in our current squad, but I have no doubt he is our second best striker. I don't know how to explain that. And then, of course, uh, Gomez Santos is put on the bench in front of him. Mikatin, where's Mikatin? I know he's on the bench. You know, Mikatin, who I like, but, you know, five goals in 23 starts. He wasn't putting them in this year, and that's what dropped him. Uh, especially with Graves making the step up from us signing him. Just to look at finances real quick. Yeah, we're uh, we're losing money, and they just cut us back to 80% on transfer revenue uh, because we are over the wage bill. I'm going to have to address that in the offseason. We're going to have to probably sell a few guys and see what that does. We've been bouncing right around uh, Euro, Euro qualifying uh, so hopefully we can make a push for that here at the end of the season. Of course, you know, this is the first season back up. And that's always kind of the question, right? Is it worth doing Europe your first year up? And, you know, they've been out of the Premier League two years. They have been kind of a, you know, a yo-yo club. But they haven't been, they haven't been up in the Premier Back in 35-36, so 20 years, they've only been up in the premiere th twice. Uh, so, you know, this is one of those situations, is it better not to qualify for Europe, give you an extra year to bring in a few more players, get a better squad, add some depth, 
I don't know. That's that's one of the eternal questions. So, you know, then on the flip side, you'd love to have it for the extra money, but it's that extra match conge con congestion that maybe you aren't geared up to handle. So anyway, I uh, want to just bounce around a couple of things just because we don't look at them all the time. There is our medical center. So uh, Gerber just tore his calf muscle uh, last match. He's out for the for four months, probably the rest of the season. McNeil broke an ankle. He's going to be out six more weeks before he starts his rehab. Uh, Stigen Henson's two weeks with his pulled calf. So, you know, we're going to have to watch those guys. Taking a look at the dynamics, team cohesion's good. Atmosphere is excellent. Leadership support is very good. And if we look at our hierarchy, uh, we have Nagami, Mikatin, and Romain. I am thinking Mikatin just moved in. He's new in that team leader role. The problem is he's not starting anymore. Nagami's not really starting anymore. I'm going to have to probably move one, if not both of those guys. McNeil's been out a lot. Wheel's doing well. Cernan is in. Clark's been in and out. But Clark's now playing a position that we don't really need. So, you know, we do have a few issues that may start to develop. Uh, I may end up having to get rid of Mikatin this offseason just because he's not he's not the starter. I mean, he's he's probably third. He's he's on the bench. Uh, if we take a look, he started 18, come off the bench five, but a lot of those starts were early in the season, right? You can see he's been an unused sub or, you know, coming off the bench. He's just not starting uh, with Cernan in the form that he's in, and he's not going to put Graves out. So it is what it is. Uh, we may play two matches today. just depends on the results of this one. So let's go ahead and play Tottenham. We're going with Gibbon in goal, the back three of Ramsey, Kowalski, and Gomez. Uh, Wheel, Nagami, Mateus, and Pascarillo in the midfield. Romain in that number 10. Cernan and Graves up top. Um, Nagami's in there. That's another guy, Mensa. You know, oh, I loved him so much. He's only 25 years old, 21 goals and 13 assists last year, and I can't find a home for him here. Uh, he he can't replace Pascarello. He's playing a 7-3-5 since he's joined the club. Wheel leads the club with nine assists and two goals to boot, playing a 6-9-4. So I've started training Mensa on the left wing because he is left-footed. He he always plays like an, he played an inverted winger. Uh, actually, he played like a wide target man in the tactic we had in the championship. I just don't know what to do with him right now. I mean, I do like him, but he's just not as good as those two other guys that we just looked at. So he may find himself out in the uh, next window as well if I can get a good result. Let's get to the match. I do want to maybe play a second match if we win this, but uh, that remains to be seen. Give the early encouragement. We are in the blue. Bounces off of Quinonez. Graves beats him into the box. Oh, and he had the angle. I think he could have got that in the near post, and he just closed those hips a little too much. Cernan, with a good chest down to the edge of the box, forces a save, and Spurs fans up in the end there are very happy with that result. But we are looking very positive here in the early going. So we've got to be a little happy, but of course... All it takes is one highlight, and this could be it here. Cleared out. Back into their half. A little pressure from Graves. Nobody's marking him. Oh, no, and Gomez. Luckily, McGlynn sends it over. Their Harry Kane replacement. <laughs> of course, you got to keep in mind, we are 30 years plus in the future, uh, we didn't start the save until 30 years in the future. So, you know, it's a new gen save. So all of those guys that you know and love 
are long gone and retired. If you are just joining us, that's kind of the background of the save, why you're not seeing the people that you might think you would see for Tottenham or Leicester. And then, of course, we just looked at Leicester. They've only been in the Premier League twice, counting this season, in the last 20 years. Cernan gets the deflection. He goes top shelf, but Quinsana makes the save. Three shots on target, but only a .63 on the XG. So we're not taking really good shots here. Nagami in the mid, brings it up on the left side. Gets beaten, loses it. There's McGlynn. He's got some pace. An outlet ball to Karoma. Gomez cuts the angle. Gibbons able to make that save with no problem. Let's encourage him some more. Little flick on header. Graves is in, and his shot drifts to the left of the goal. A little unfortunate. That was a nice little ball to set him up. Hey, bud, how you doing down there? My cat's coming to visit. I think they are ready for me to feed them. You know what? Luke Rowe is one of those guys that I definitely like. He's one of our new guys. He's good. He's good. You know what? I'm going to put Rowe in for Nagami. Do that. And we can put... I do not have a center back. A bench. Because everybody's dead. All my reserve center backs are hurt. Or suspended. Or something. It's not going to be a fun run into the season, I don't think. <laughs> uh, keep doing what you're doing. We'll be fine, I hope. Luke Rowe comes in for Nogami at the break. There is Rowe. So it's been about a week since I've played. You guys that have watched my channel for a while. So I usually do bulk recording. Bonza just tears through our midfield. And luckily nobody was there to get on the end of that. Not sure if that was a shot or a cross. But anyway, so I do most of my recording in bulk. I'll usually record a full week's episodes over the course of the weekend. And um, so, of course, I'm recording this episode on Sunday, which will come out. Not not this coming week starting tomorrow, but a week from Monday. No penalty there. It was a possible. They checked it on the VAR. Um, but because I record like that, and I do that because, you know, my regular job uh, that actually pays me money, uh, which, you, got, you know, hopefully you guys understand. Cernan's in on it. And the keeper didn't close him down, and he just waltzes it into the goal. Oh my goodness, and it is 1-0 Leicester in the 48th minute. Wow, I am stunned. Roberts played him on side, but the keeper dropped back and just let Cernan come right up to the post, and there was no way he was going to miss that ball. That was insane. Wow. So going back, because I haven't seen, all right, pause, got to make a substitution here. Um, but because I haven't played in about a week, don't remember, was there something about row? In fact, let's pull his port and form. Unused sub. So he's been starting. He's been starting a lot. Six, seven, six, four couple of inconsistent matches. I wasn't sure if that was why I had possibly not been playing him was some of those turns of form. Uh, Pascarillo, we're going to bring, uh, let's bring, bring Menza on. On the right side. Now, he is left-footed. So he likes to be an inverted winger. Let's switch him there. And then Mateus will switch you out to a, a Zala port. So when Mensa cuts in, Mateus will drift out. Now, Romain's kind of in the way there now. 
but that's that's okay all right wheel he's also tired mateus could have bruised his shoulder <coughs> oh look at that ball and oh how did given not stop that it went right underneath him and yes it was definitely a poor ball who really screwed that up Thurnan. Oh, and Gibbons should have been all over that ball. All right, we are getting tired. Let's go ahead and make our last sub. Who are we going to pull off? I guess it depends on Mince is already tired. He just came on. I mean, I can't pull him off now. Tell you what, we're going to bring Esser on for Wheel. Not the move I'd like to make, but just too many guys tired. And I did not notice. Did you guys notice? Let me know in the comments. Did I just overlook Menza for being tired? I don't think he would have even been on in the club there. But, oh, man, what a finish by Car Car Caroma. Oh, and that's just disappointing. All right, we're going to have to go... Skip that. We're going to go attacking. Come on, boys. There's a header down. Romain. Esser's on it. What can he do? He's into the box. He takes a crack and scores it. And it's 2-2. Two -two. All right. I am going to... Gonna go to regroup. Do that. What a finish by the super sub. Big, big moment for Esser. And he steps up from way out in the corner of the box and slots it home. That was beautiful. And oh my God. <laughs> I was like, could he score the winner from the set piece? That would have been insane. All right, back to Gibbon. Five minutes of stoppage time. Oh, you guys are making me nervous as hell. All right, they're moving the ball around well. But Glenn, look at Karoma. He dinks it. It's off the crossbar. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Off the crossbar. We're going to stoppage time. 10 shots for uh, them, 12 for us. Both clubs with six on target. They've had the better chances by far. All right, let's go to the dressing room. Uh, pump the fist. Don't let it slip away. All right, you need to go back to positive. Come on, boys. Esser throws it right to Kosic. The throws are horrible. No idea what's going on. Hangs it again. It's out to Menza. Ah, and Menza loses it. There's a sign that he's just not, maybe not cut out for this level. Salazar, Kowalski got turned around. Given lays down, smothers the ball. Oh my goodness. McGlynn, out to Quinonez. What a save by Given. All right, position. They have got, you know what? I'm going to drop these two guys to support. Can I make another sub? Can. Is that the one I want? I'm going to hold off on the sub. 
They've got a corner. It's Mr. McGlynn, everywhere McGlynn. All right, halftime. I think they've already made their fourth sub. I'm going to go ahead and make mine now. So Gomez is on a yellow. Kowalski. Ramsey's a left footer. I'm going to put Clark over there. God, I hope I don't regret that. But I'm just going to make him a no-nonsense center back. I want him getting tr you know tricky with the ball. He can pass well, but I really want him just get the ball, get it out. Uh, I am going to drop these guys to support. You know what? I'm going to keep him at a winger. I think that. It's not his normal, but... And then we're going to bring him back to a... Not the best guys here, but... All right. Oh, let's encourage him. Come on, boys. Graves has just gone into the red. Teus squares it to Rowe. Finds Esser. And that's a poor pass that gets away from Rowe. And McGlynn, was he on sides? He beats Clark and Gibbon. How can you not stop that ball? Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. How can you not stop that ball? Graves has some pulled wrist ligaments. Romaine's about dead. And we lose it 3-2 in stoppage time. They were the better team. I mean, 14 on target, 3.02 XG. You were underdogs and gave it your best shot. We got farther than we should have. We're up against Tottenham. I mean, granted, they are in relegation, but at least they're a re you know a premier side, right? I mean, at least they they've been in the Premier League most you know off and on the last decade. It's almost a good thing because that lets us now focus on the league and trying to make this push for Europe, if that's what we want to do. I, I just don't know. I am a little perturbed by by our midfield. I think what I'm going to need to make sure I do is, I mean, Esser played well. Esser played fine. 20-year-old German. Yeah, he looks fine. Chasson has that pace. I think if Wheel, you know, we need to maybe, I think I need to pull Wheel inside. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Look at the passing there. Oh, my God. Why wasn't he on the bench today, Mateus? Where's he at? He is mid center right. He did play. He played the whole game. Well, he didn't do anything great, but he didn't do anything horrible. All right, so he's in there. I don't know, man. Don't know what to do. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. Just because of the time. We aren't going to have time for another match. Let's come back for Crystal Palace and Brentford at the end of the season. We will know at that point if we're playing for Europe or if we're already in Europe. So um, let's just finish out this season and move on. Guys, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for daily Football Manager content reminders Monday through Saturday. Thanks so much for dropping in. Take care. Bye.